What's going on guys, Kieran O'Brien here, back with another video, and today is the beginning of my vlog for this rally that I'm going on, as well as a road trip up the west coast of the United States. And it's starting off okay. So this morning we actually drove from Arizona here to Orange County, California. I didn't record the drive because I've done it so many times and it's pretty much just a straight road and a bunch of mountains, it's nothing crazy. But we're now here at VF Engineering in Anaheim, California. And as you can see, uh, the car is kind of under the knife right now. So what's happening is there's actually an issue with the engine. Um, hopefully it's nothing crazy. It's actually being diagnosed by my friends here at VF as we speak and uh, they're checking it out, letting me know what's wrong with it. And uh, we'll find out here shortly, but I think I might have to leave the car here overnight. The rally starts on Friday, today's Wednesday. So I have about a day and a half to get this all sorted. So hopefully by Friday morning, we're gonna know what the issue is and be able to solve it. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated throughout our time. Here. So we're finished up here at VF Engineering. We may or may not be back tomorrow. Let's check this out. I bagged out the car on top of the dyno. So the car is literally floating off the ground. Check this thing out. This is a catless Huracan Performante. This thing has no catalytic converters. It's supercharged. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna stick around so you guys can hear a quick dyno run on this thing because it is absolutely next level. <laughs> What's up guys, so we're here at Hyper Rally and here's my car right behind me. This is the staging area right in Marina Del Rey. Beautiful water and all these boats, sick cars everywhere. Super excited for this rally. So this is a brand new rally. I think this is like the second run they're ever doing, which is super cool. A uh, bunch of awesome sponsors and this rally is going here from Marina Del Rey up to Napa Valley uh, in the Bay Area. So it's gonna be a super fun rally. I'm super excited for it and I'm gonna vlog as much as I can for you guys. So a little update guys, we're all about to head out here. Everyone's lined up, ready to go. But unfortunately, one of the cars, this McLaren 570 over here is not starting. Uh, I don't think we know why yet, but it just randomly won't start. So we're kind of just waiting on him before we can all head out. But here's my car looking good. Uh, we got some really sick cars in this rally. Got some Huracans here. We've got a couple GTSs, 458, a bunch of McLarens and stuff up there. So super fun rally and uh, I'm excited to get going here shortly. We're getting a police escort through LA right now. This is absolutely crazy. It's already been like 15 minutes and we're just getting escorted through every single red light. This is super cool. So we are at the first stop here on Hyper Rally. We're up here in Santa Barbara now at our first lunch spot and all the cars are parked up looking good. Got some amazing food, some pizza and some other stuff here. All the cars parked up along the curb. I actually just had to put another quart of oil in my car so we just did that. The annoying part about putting oil in my car is that I have to take the roof box off to be able to open the engine hatch. So we just did that, got it back and, and all secured on there and now we are good to go. What's up guys? So a little uh, update here, vlog update. We are in the middle of California somewhere. We're like an hour from Monterey. So we're actually heading to Monterey, meeting up with some more people who are gonna link up with us for the rally, then heading to the hotel that we're staying at for the night. I'm behind like the craziest Ferrari 458 I've ever heard in my entire life. It has the most ridiculous exhaust I've ever heard. All right guys, new day. Uh, today we are heading up to San Francisco. All the cars are lined up, ready to go on the rally. I actually just got my car detailed and you'll notice I took the ski box off. So today we'll actually be able to mob because I don't have to worry about the ski box flying off. Uh, one thing, unfortunately, if you guys ever think about doing a ski box on a wrapped car, there is like an indent on my roof now. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's right here. Uh, you can see like there's like a circle on my roof. So that's not coming off, unfortunately. So when I get back to Phoenix, I'm gonna have to rewrap my roof. But uh, yeah, we're all heading out now. All the cars are leaving and uh, it's gonna be a fun day. So guys, we are in SF now. Uh, we're about to be doing some sort of street takeover. I don't know exactly what's happening, but apparently there's some police meeting us and we're gonna be doing some really cool stuff. So 
check this out so all these cars we're going down lombard street which is that crazy famous zigzag street in san francisco and we're about to i think take over the entire road i think we have a police escort down lombard street to get a bunch of photos so it should be super cool here we go down lombard street look at this view guys this is sick houses on this street are like 10 million plus guys that was epic that was super cool i've driven down that street a couple times but never with a group of supercars so that was a first for me guys check this out we're all parked up after going down lombard all of the supercars down the street this is crazy i think we're about to head to the golden gate bridge and then up to napa valley so this should be fun mobbing through san francisco with all these cars all right we made it up to coit tower so this is a famous tower in san francisco it's right there and it has some of the craziest views in the city. So right over here, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge. You can see Alcatraz uh, right over here somewhere. The Bay Bridge is over there. So check that out. There's Alcatraz right there, super cool. And all the supercars parked up here in the parking lot. <laughs> So guys, it's the next day and the rally is officially over. We're here in Silicon Valley in Palo Alto area and we're actually at the Apple World Headquarters. So right here behind us is the Apple Visitor Center. Now, before COVID, you could do a lot of cool stuff. You could go on a tour of the headquarters and all stuff like that. But unfortunately, obviously, a lot of that stuff is restricted now. So I actually just went inside and I bought a couple things because fun fact, if you didn't know this, the visitor center here at the Apple headquarters in Palo Alto is the only place on earth that you can buy genuine Apple merchandise. So I got a t-shirt and a hat um, and it's the only place that you can buy those things in the entire world. You can't even buy them online. So that's super cool. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm a huge Apple fanboy. I love everything Apple. I love the company. The architecture on their campus is incredible. And so, yeah, we're here um, just getting some photos and uh, hanging out. And then we're heading up to SF here in a few minutes. Update, we are now in San Francisco. We're in Little Italy, and we actually just walked through Chinatown and got a bunch of food. So Avery, what do we get? Well, I'm a quarter Chinese and I love Chinese food. So we've got a chicken bun. They were out of pork buns. We've got... Oh my gosh, I'm really struggling. We've got nine shrimp dumplings and two mystery dumplings. I asked what they were and she just gave them to me. So we're gonna eat them. They look delicious. Nice. And uh, yeah. All right guys, it's the next day. We are walking to breakfast right now and we're about to see one of the most famous landmarks in San Francisco. And it's actually here in Chinatown, right by where we're staying. So it is the Dragon Gate in Chinatown and it's pretty much like a big arch with all sorts of Chinese architecture. All right guys, so we are back on the Golden Gate Bridge. Check this out, so dope. It is not nearly as nice as it was yesterday when we were here uh, with the whole rally, or no, that was two days ago, because um, it was nice and sunny and, and uh, no, not a cloud in the sky uh, when we were here last time. But uh, today's a little bit overcast, but it's still beautiful to be driving down one of the most iconic landmarks in the on the continent. I'm, uh, I'm getting as many videos as I can, and then we're heading to a sick photo shoot location after this. All right guys, check this out. So we parked the R8 up in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. This is super dope, I aired it out right here. This is sick. Yoli's getting some sick photos of the car right here. Check it out. They'll be on my Instagram. Yoli is linked down below. He's actually the guy that edits my videos too. So check him out. If you guys need videos edited or podcasts edited, he's your guy. Um, there's San Francisco over there. There's Alcatraz. And then of course the Golden Gate Bridge. This is dope. So guys, we just filmed a new outro for my channel. Yoli filmed it. So at the end of this video, you're gonna see the very first version of my new outro. My old one was me walking up to my old M6 and getting in the car. So we kind of recreated it, but now there's a way cooler background, obviously, uh, than my last one. So I'm super excited for that. Should look dope. Stay tuned to the outro of this video to check it out. So guys, we just got to our next hotel. We're here in Sonoma Valley and cars parked up looking good. This is what the roof box looks like. I don't know if I've shown you guys like the inside of it, but we've got a bunch of bags up here. We're about to go inside, probably just sleep and then wake up tomorrow morning and hit the road up to Oregon. What's going on guys? So it is the next day and you'll notice I'm in the passenger seat. So Avery's driving now and uh, we are heading up. We're actually just on this road for pretty much two hours. We're heading up to a place called the drive-through tree park. 
So it's actually in the redwood forest, and obviously if you know redwoods trees, they're massive, and there are some trees that are big enough that you can actually drive a car through them. So we're gonna try to go find this tree and drive the R8 through it and bag the R8 out and take some photos, so that'll be super fun. Avery's never been to the redwood forest before, so are you excited? I'm very excited. She's excited. I have a bunch of work to do, so that's why she's driving, and I'm gonna work here in the passenger seat. We've got our setup with the iPad right here with navigation and music. Avery's driving, and I'm gonna take my laptop out and get some work done. Guys, check out how tall this tree is. That's insane. All right, we're two cars away from being inside of the tree. Let's do it. Guys, here we go, into the tree. This is so sick. Here we go. Guys, I am aired out inside of a freaking tree right now. This is ridiculous. There's literally a tree right here. I can't believe this. This is crazy. Wow. All right, guys, that was super sick. Um, thanks, Avery, for bringing us here. It was her idea, so that was super cool. Um, I took some really cool photos, well, it, uh, Avery did, and some videos, so check out my TikTok account, my Instagram, I'm post them all there, so. Yeah, all linked down below. So we're at some random pull-off spot in the middle of the Redwoods Forest. Look at this, guys. Literally, there's not a single car on the road. I just parked my car up and slammed it down right here in front of this Redwoods tree. Look at this, this is absolutely crazy. Avery's back here in the forest somewhere. We're about to do a little photo shoot, but this is so sick, guys. This is my second time here to, in the Redwood Forest. And uh, the, the last time I was here, I was pretty young, so I don't remember it very well. We wanted to go out onto this tree trunk to take some pictures, but she's scared of heights. It's only like a four foot drop into this dry creek bed, but um, she's now crawling back across this log on all fours. And I just figured that I would film it for the vlog. Good job. Good job, babe, you did it. Congratulations. Let's go make sure no one stole my I'm gonna demonetize your ass, bitch. F you, fuck. What's up, guys? So we are at the Airbnb now, and it's already dark outside, as you can see. This is a window right here, but can't really see anything. My car is parked right there. Uh, but guys, this Airbnb is super cool. So it's like a guest house slash garage slash loft um, in this really, in, in like this uh, mountain community in Oregon, like Southern Oregon, so super cool. And it's the next day and we are about to head out. So this is the view that I was talking about last night, guys. Look at that. It's a little bit foggy today and it rained last night. So we'll have to go make sure the suction cups are on there properly. But such a sick view. There's a whole like valley of, of forest right there. You can't really see over the fog. So yeah, we're about to go pack up, fill the roof box with all of our stuff and grab some breakfast. And then later today, we're meeting up with a couple friends of mine in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, which is like this little town in the middle of Oregon, but I have a couple buddies there, so should be a fun day. What's going on guys? So I'm here in Eugene, Oregon. I'm at Version X Auto Body. Now check this out. This is actually a crazy story here. So you see my car are all parked up. Thank you, by the way, to Version X. They just did a crazy detail on my car. It looks amazing, super happy with it. But this car right here is owned by my boy, Devin. Say what's up, Devin. What's good? So, crazy story about Devin's car. He just bought it, you bought it like three weeks ago, right? Uh, three weeks ago, yeah. So he just bought this car three weeks ago. It's a Liberty Walk, um, 2000, what, what year? It's a, it's a 08 V8 R8. So a 08 V8 R8. Um, it's, a, it's a Liberty Walk wide body, crazy stance car on bags, just like mine, right? And it was built by Creative Bespoke in Arizona. And so I'm now here in the middle of Oregon. Yeah. So it's crazy, small, small world. world. And if you guys remember, Creative Bespoke is the shop that built my car and did all my bag install and body kit and wheels and everything. So these cars were built by the same shops, even though this one was built there like seven years ago or something crazy like that. And my car was built there like a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, super crazy. And they're also like inverted. So his is black with red wheels. Mine's red with black wheels. So we're about to go do a video shoot, a video photo shoot. Uh, around here locally. I met Devin actually uh, through the R8 forum on Facebook, so that was pretty cool. And then the photographer, it's my boy Josh right here. What so up? fun fact about Josh, he owns a sick blue Subaru, which is over there, I'll show you in a second. But you know, 
you're like the only person besides like my family that I've known for like more than 10 years and I still talk to. That's, That's pretty, crazy. it's pretty crazy. I was thinking about that today. I was like, I don't, I haven't like known anybody for that long besides my own family members that, that I still keep in touch with. So Josh and I used to play video games way back in the day and he lives here in Eugene and I met up with him last time I was here. But uh, now we're both car guys. So we don't play video games anymore, but we're both into cars. So Josh's Subaru is right over here. It's that uh, Tiffany blue one right there. So super sick. This is his boy right here with the STI. But um, he has built the shit out of this thing. And this thing is absolutely modified to the max. So this thing is super, super clean. Um, shoot him a follow on Instagram right here. So what are some quick, like fun facts about your car? Has full Voltex kit, minus the bumper because it's not on it right now. Yeah. Uh, so that includes the diffuser, the wing, the side skirts. That's about it for the Voltex. Um, makes 600 horsepower, fresh engine build. Uh, putting an M Sport wide body on it, and then getting paint soon. So we just had some dinner, and now we are parked up in this parking garage. Check this out. So we've got the two cars parked up. These photos are going to be crazy. Look at this. What's up, guys? So we are now in northern Oregon at Cannon Beach. And check out what I'm looking at right now. So this is called Haystack Rock. So I've actually been to Haystack Rock before about four or five years ago. Um, but this is super cool to be back here. One of the coolest places on the West Coast, in my opinion, if you're going to do a road trip, up or down the west coast you definitely should come here to cannon beach what's up guys so we are on a bridge right now that separates oregon and washington so we actually just crossed into washington from oregon we're heading up to seattle i'm actually about to visit a client first then heading into seattle and uh seattle we've got some fun stuff planned in seattle a lot of car stuff going down uh, and I might be buying a new car, but that won't be in this vlog. You're gonna have to watch the other video for that. What's up guys? So it is day one here in Seattle, or actually kind of day two. We got here like midday yesterday, but we're in the hotel, check this out. We're staying at the Motif in downtown Seattle, and this place is super cool. They gave us a room upgrade, so we have an ocean view, um, super awesome room. And we're about to head out to Pike Place Market um, Avery's never been to Seattle before, so this will be fun. She's a big coffee fan, so we are going to go to the first Starbucks, and uh, she's really excited, right? Yes. We are now outside the first Starbucks. Avery's super pumped. Yes. Right? I haven't yep. had my coffee yet, so I'm not more animated. That's right. So we're about to head in. Should be dope. It's right here. Check this out. If you guys have never been here before, definitely come here whenever you're in Seattle. Uh, they have merchandise here that you can only get at this location. So we're gonna try to see if Avery can add to her mug collection. Guys, this is pretty crazy. Literally every business in Seattle is boarded up. They're having a lot of protests and riots here still, but we're like two months after all of the George Floyd stuff was really uh, prevalent in the headlines and there's still boards on, yeah. The, North Face is fine. Okay guys, so we're now in Seattle. We did a few things this morning, as you saw, and that concludes part one of this vlog. Now, uh, part one was pretty much the entire road trip. There's only like two days left um, of this part of the road trip, but I've been holding back a little secret from you guys. Part two of this vlog, I'm gonna be in a different car. So I'm heading off to a car dealership right now to buy my new car. The R8 is going on a truck back to Arizona in two days and then I'm driving my new car from Seattle back to Arizona. So part two of this vlog is gonna be even more epic. Maybe not even more epic because the first part was like super car rally, but it's gonna be epic and I'm super excited. So with that being said, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watch out for part two of this road trip vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.